हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पार्ट थ्री वीडियो ऑफ 2018 आईएमओ पेपर सेट ए फॉर क्लास सिक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व्ड अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 35 टुडे विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर 36 सिक्स दैट इज द एवरीडे मैथमेटिक्स पोर्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड क्वेश्चन 36 अ रिटेलर बॉट 12,000 स्ट्रॉबेरीज He threw 144 strawberries that were rotten. He packed the remaining strawberries equal in 76 boxes. How many strawberries were there in each box? He bought 12,000 strawberries and 144 strawberries were rotten. So number of strawberries left 12,000 minus 144 will get 11,856. Now he packed the remaining strawberries equal in 76 boxes. So number of box will be 11,856 divided by 76 will get 156 which is option A. Question number 37. Ruhanika is organizing a party for 480 people and needs disposable glasses and straws. There are 40 glasses in a pack and 160 straws in a pack. She needs exactly the same number of glasses and straws. What is the minimum number of each pack she must buy? She is organizing a party for 480 people so she needs 480 Glasses and 480 straws and there are 40 glasses in a pack. So number of pack of glass 480 divided by 40 will get 12. Similarly there are 160 straws in a pack. So number of packs of straws will be 480 divided by 160 will get 3. So the answer will be option D. Question number 38. Five square flower beds each upside 1.2 meter a dog on a piece of land 4.8 meter long and 4.2 meter wide. What is the area of the remaining part of land? Here side of the square is given which is 1.2 meter. So area of each square will be side into side which is 1.2 multiplied by 1.2 will get 1.44 square meter. So total area of square bed will be area of 5 squares which is 5 multiplied by 1.44 will get 7.20 square meter. Now area of rectangle length into breadth so it will be 4.8 multiplied by 4.2 will get 20.16 square meter. Now area of remaining part 20.16 minus 7.20 will get 12.96 square meter which is option B. Question number 39. At present Kirti is 12 years old and her mother Kamles is 42 years old. Find the ratio of the Kamla's age 2 years ago to Kirti's age 2 years hence. Kirti's present age is 12 years and her mother's present age is 42 years. And Kamla's is 2 years ago that means 42 minus 2 it will be 40 years. And Kirti's age 2 years hence it will be 12 plus 2 which is 14 years. So the ratio will be 40 divided by 14 will get 20 is to 7 which is option B. Now question number 40. The breadth of a rectangular bed sheet is 5 meter more than half the length of the bed sheet. What is the perimeter of the bed sheet if the length is x meter? Length is x meter. So breadth will be 5 meter more than half the length of the bed sheet. 
so it will be x by 2 plus 5 meter now perimeter of the rectangular bed set will be 2 into length plus breadth it will be 2 into x plus x by 2 plus 5 if we solve this we will get 3x plus 10 meter so the breadth of the bed set is 3x plus 10 meter which is option C Now question number 41 On one day the temperature on a hill at 8 pm was 2 degree centigrade but at midnight it fell down to minus 3 degree centigrade by how much did the temperature fall It was 2 degree centigrade at 8 pm so from 2 degree to 0 degree is 2 degree now from 0 degree to minus 3 degree it will be 3 degree so 2 degree plus 3 degree is 5 degree which is option A question number 42 Chinmay purchased 10 kilogram rice at the rate of 15 rupees per kg 15 kg 40 gram sugar at the rate of 20 rupees per kg and 5 kg 60 gram salt at the rate of 9 rupees per kg he gave 1000 rupees to the shopkeeper how much money did he get back 10 kg of rice at the rate of 15 per kg so cost of 10 kilogram rice will be 150 rupees similarly cost of 15 kilogram 40 gram will be 300.8 rupees similarly cost of 5 kilogram 60 gram salt will be 45.54 rupees now total cost will be 150 plus 300.8 plus 45.54 will get 496.34 rupees he gave 1000 rupees to the shopkeeper so money he get back 1000 minus 496.34 will get 503.66 rupees which is option b question number 43 Swati ate half of the candies she had and gave rest to Zeni. Zeni kept eight of the candies and gave rest of the ten candies to Saxi. How many candies did Swati eat? She ate half of the candies and gave rest to Zeni. And Zeni kept eight of the candies and gave rest of the ten candies to Saxi. That means number of candy Jenny had 8 plus 10 which is 18. So Swati gave 18 candies to Jenny. Now number of candy Swati had 18 multiplied by 2 will get 36. So number of candy Swati ate half of 36 means 18. So the answer will be option A. Question number 44. Three farmers have 165 kilogram, 190 kilogram and 210 kilogram of wheat respectively. Find the maximum capacity of a bag such that the quantity of wheat can be packed in exact number of bags. To find the maximum capacity we have to take the edge shape of the three numbers that is 165, 190 and 210 and the edge shape is 5. So the answer will be option D. Question number 45. Bisu writes the smallest 6 digit number and Ridhi writes the greatest 7 digit number on the blackboard. Their maths teacher finds the difference between the smallest 4 digit number and the sum of the two numbers written on the board. What would be the answer? Bisu writes the smallest six digit number. Smallest six digit number is one lakh and greatest seven digit number is ninety-nine lakh ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Their sum will be one crore ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine and smallest four digit number is one thousand. So the difference will be 
वन क्रोर नाइन्टी एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन सो द आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन बी नाउ कम टू द अचीवर सेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स आई अ राइट एंगल इज पी ऑफ ए रिवोल्यूशन अ राइट एंगल इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ ए रिवोल्यूशन सो ऑप्शन ए एंड सी कुड बी द आंसर टू आई अ फिगर हुज ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल एंड ऑल एंगल्स आर क्यू इज कॉल्ड रेगुलर क्लोज फिगर Q will be equal three i the product of two negative integers is a r integer. It should be positive integer. Now I v s of a number is a number that comes just after that number. It will be successor. So the answer will be option C. Question forty seven. State T for true and A for false and select the correct option. I set squares are useful to draw parallel lines. This statement is true. Two i thirteen point five plus four three by eight plus nine one by eight plus six four by eight is greater than twelve point five plus five one by two plus eight plus fourteen point six. If we solve this, we'll get the left hand side is thirty three point five. And the right hand side is fifty one point four. Thirty three point five is less than fifty one point four, but here it is greater than. So the answer will be false. Now three i zero is less than every negative number. This is also false. I v four more than minus seven is minus three. Four more than minus seven is minus three. So this is true. So the answer will be option B. Question forty eight. The given bar graph shows the sale of different brands of socks in a shop in one month. I how many total socks are sold in the month? Number of socks sold in brand P is fifteen. In brand Q is thirty five. Brand R is twenty five, brand A is sixty five, and brand T is fifty five. So total number of socks sold one ninety five. Now two I find the fraction of number of socks sold of brand A to the number of socks sold of brand P and R together. Number of socks sold of brand A is sixty five, and brand P is fifteen, and brand R is twenty five. So the fraction will be sixty-five divided by fifteen plus twenty-five, which is forty. So sixty-five by forty, we can simplify it as thirteen by eight. So two y will be thirteen by eight. So the answer will be option D. I is one ninety-five and two y is thirteen by eight. Question number forty-nine. Study the given number lines and find the value of s plus r divided by p minus q. Look at the number line carefully. Here s is one, five by ten. That is fifteen by ten. P is two whole nine by ten. That is twenty nine by ten. Q is three by eight, and R is two whole five by eight, which is twenty one by eight. So S plus R will be one sixty five by forty. P minus Q will be one hundred one by forty. So it will be one hundred sixty five divided by one hundred one. We can write it as one whole sixty four by one hundred one. So the answer will be option A. Question number fifty. Match the figures given in column one with the shaded ratio given in column two, and select the correct option. Look at the figure carefully. There are total twelve parts 
in P. A number of shaded part is 6. So the ratio will be 6 by 12 that is 1 is to 2. Now in Q the total number of paths is 8 and number of shaded part is 4. So 4 by 8 it will be 1 is to 2. Now R is total number of paths is 10 and number of shaded part is 6. So 6 by 10 it will be 3 is to 5. Similarly in S total number of paths is 13. Number of shaded part is 7. So the fraction is 7 by 13. The ratio will be 7 is to 13. So the answer will be option C. P is IV, Q is IV, R is I and S is 2I. This is all about class 6 IMO paper 2018 set A. Thanks for watching.